Some people like to play casually, but others like to play to win. So if your question is, what are the best decks of today's format, then this is the video for you. And for today's video, we have the top five best decks of August 2022. And if you haven't already, please click the like and subscribe button. It helps this channel out a lot. But now let's begin. At the top five, we have tier limits. Pure, branded, or punk tier limits are all good options when it comes to this deck. They can set up win that turn zero before it even gets to your turn, just locking out the opponent from special summoning. This is truly the new age Lightsworn. And you might be wondering, why isn't tier limits at top one or top two? It's because this is an RNG based deck, meaning it relies a lot on luck. And I will not be placing any decks that re rely on luck at the top first or top second. But this is a powerhouse and it's only going to get better as time goes on. So if I were you, I would invest on this deck right now. And that's why we have tier limits at the top five. And for the number four deck, we have Pure Punk. Pure Punk. The field spell added a lot of consistency to this deck, allowing you to basically pot of greed and draw two. Emergency Teleport is a one card chaos ruler. I cannot believe that Konami actually uh, put Emergency Teleport at, at three. This deck can tr truly thrive on that. They can set up Scythe. Uh, I think this deck will get Halki Firebrax finally banned. And when they get to go second, they can set up stuff like Psychic and Punisher or, or Access Code. So Pure Punk is truly a powerhouse. And don't forget that uh, Chaos Ruler and Hulk are still legal. So that's why I have Pure Punk as the number four. And now for the number three deck, I have everybody's favorite public enemy and that would be Floanderis. There's a reason why a lot of people hate this deck and it is because they get to play the strongest cards in the game. They can play cards like Harpy's Featherstorm, Shifter, Windbearer Statue and don't forget about Mystic Mine. If they win die roll they basically win the game and even when they lose die roll if they can open with something like uh, Mystic Mine then they're going to have a very good time playing against their opponents. The birds are going nowhere. And that's why I have Fluanderis as the top three. And now for the number two deck, we have a new face in town. And that will be Mathmic. Mathmic Circular is an insane card. It adds so much consistency to the deck. And Mathmic Super Factorial, the trap card, is an insane card that allows you to play through cards like... Dark Ruler No More or Lightning Storm. I mean, you can snipe out a card from the opponent's hand and they can send one from their field as well. It, this, the trap card is truly insane. And let's not forget about Primatech Alembirshian that can add any spell or trap card from the deck. That means that if you know what you're going up against, you can add stuff like Dimensional Barrier or Anti-Spell Fragrance. And going second, they can set up access code super easily with multiple pops and update jammers. So Mathmic can go first or go second pretty easily. And that's why it's been getting top after top after top by regionals. Don't be surprised if you see Mathmic winning a lot more regionals in the near future. And that's why I have them as the number two deck. And now for the honorable mentions, I have Dragon Link. Dragons never die. Uh, this is one of the few decks that I have in physical form. I mean, recently a Dragon Link deck got first place at a regional. There are multiple versions of this deck. A lot of them have been using the Brave package, the Adventure package, because it allows you to uh, discard cards like Absoroter that you want to see in the graveyard. Dragons are going nowhere and don't take them lightly because they can OTK so easily. And for the, for the last honorable mention, I have Sky Striker with Mystic Mind. I mean, this is the best deck when it comes to Mystic Mind because of cards like Hayate that can attack directly and then they can activate multi rolls, sending their own monster to the graveyard, leaving them with no monsters on the field and leaving Mystic Mind up pretty safely. So Sky Striker, uh, they win a YCS every now and then, they win a regional every now and then, and 
the fact that a lot of the common side deck cards against the meta decks don't hurt this deck is why it truly thrives so never ever take sky striker lightly i have learned that lesson myself but that will be it for the honorable mentions and now let's go to the number one deck of today's format and that goes to none other than sprite that surprises nobody they get the most representation at all the tops and all the regionals that are going on right now they've won first place multiple times in a lot of different regions uh they single-handedly got totally awesome banned in the ocg but guess what totally awesome is still legal in the tcg that means that you can have one omni negate and then revive totally awesome one more time to have another omni negate giving you multiple follow-ups multiple omni negates i mean and not just that but also you are able to play around cards like nibiru super easily because of cards like gigantic that can lock out the nibiru from the opponent's hand so i mean this deck can play through cards like nibiru super easily and through cards like dark ruler no more super easily with cards like sprite starter or smashers uh, and hand traps so i mean there's a reason why this deck is the king of consistency because all you need is guess what level two level two rank two link two 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 is gonna be your best friend the number two is gonna be your best friend if you play this deck and that's why sprite is the number one undisputed deck at the moment do you agree with my list do you disagree i want to know in the comments below but as always, this was Yara here, and I will catch you on the next video. Take care.